Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Crew First Culture Podcast. My name is Jeremy. Thank you very much for joining me today. Late again with this episode, we've definitely had a lot going on at home, a lot going on at the firehouse. I spent basically the entire weekend wrapped up in blankets, going back and forth between sweating like crazy and freezing to death. And so had to take off a shift for that just that put me kind of behind projects at home and just a lot going on so apologize for the delay in releasing Monday's episode but I really appreciate you being here with me to to listen what I have to to say today so as I'm driving home today you know I'm looking around I'm starting to see green grass I'm starting to see trees budding and and the sun seems to be brighter and we just went through daylight savings time which i man this daylight savings time switch kills me it it really it takes me a while to to get past this one it's it's very hard but that being said i love i love it getting uh dark later i just i just love that i love being able to have more daylight so anyway just just the signs that the winter is gone or that it's going away spring is coming and i couldn't help but kind of translate that into you know my my current situation at the firehouse you know we went through a a really tough stretch we we went through a a very I'm trying to think of the way to say it here. A lot of negativity w- was surrounding us at our at our firehouse. You know, it was it was a tough time, and we just could not shake the negativity. We couldn't shake the slump that we were in, and some changes have been made. Like I said, in a couple episodes in the past, and you know. It it feels like a completely different place. It is a completely different place. I love being with this crew that I have. I love, I just love it. I'm so appreciative of them and and what they do and and what they do for me. And I I just, I'm so happy right now to, to be a part of it. And we're getting some more fires again and, and getting to do things firefighter things you know it's it's nice to feel like a firefighter again we went through a long cold cold stretch so you know all those things put together i just i'm just so happy right now to be at work i just love it and that kind of made me think you know that that green grass the, the trees budding the sun shining you know that that spring at the firehouse is coming you know, the winter is finally over. We made it through the slump. We made it through the the fog of ne- negativity that just enveloped us for so long. And it was it was so hard for me to maintain anything. I just, I felt the life suck out of me every time I was there. And to now be on the other side of that and to see what it's like to to have a crew that sits around the breakfast table and, and doesn't stare at their phone. They, we talk about fire stuff, you know, to, to sit at the dinner table. And again, don't just look at your phone and, but, but we're talking about stories of, you know, making fun of people at the table, harassing each other. We're telling funny stories of, of other people in the department We're we're sitting in and spending more time at the table after we get done eating than when we do when we do just eating and that's not the way it was the way it used to be was we ate we pretty much most some of us would look at our phone for a little while and then we'd get up and start cleaning up and that was it and now you know yesterday we sat and talked for a little bit we did some cleanup then we went outside and even talked more i cannot tell you how much I appreciate that, how, and and this is something I told somebody the other day, you know, that's the best part of being a firefighter is that 
time, you know, those storytelling times, the, the learning from each other, the, the kitchen table talks, the outside talks, sitting in lawn chairs outside, you know, whatever it is. That is the best part of being a firefighter. And it's funny how if you have missed that, if, if you are a part of a crew that doesn't do that, over time, you forget. You forget what that feels like. And to have that come back into our crew has been such a breath of fresh air. And I cannot say enough how much I appreciate it, how much I love it. I just, I, it has been missed. And, and so that kind of gets me back into the, the topic of the day is that winter is going away. It's time for spring. Bring it on. You know, I, I'm done with the winter. I'm done with the cold. I'm done with the slump. I'm done with the negativity. I'm ready for spring. And I want to take advantage of every day of that spring. You know, and so I just thought it was an interesting kind of comparison as far as the what what spring looks like around the world you know you're wherever you live and kind of the the seasons of life and and i'm not even gonna try to quote the book or, or even i don't even know what the 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 real title is and i can't ever remember the author but i i've read a book before and it's basically the four seasons of life and it kind of compares stages of life to the seasons you know the springs where you're really invigorated and, and things are are starting to really turn up and they're going good and then you get into summer and summer is just kind of you're you're just cruising along and things are great and then you get into fall and that's that's when the bad times start that's that's when you get into the the very start of a slump and, and that's when you hopefully can catch it and stop it and get back into summer but if you don't then that fall you know that that's exactly what it is is you start falling into those slumps that's that's when you start con getting complacent and, and negative and, and all that and then of course winter is is exactly what you would think it is is that's the low times you know that's the times when the darkness is winning. And so obviously we want to avoid winter for sure. We want to even avoid fall. We notice some type of a slip. If we notice some type of a, a slump coming, a, a bad attitude coming, we've got to shut it down fast before it creeps into areas that we you know, we, we turn around one day and, and it's just, it's just negativity. It's not enjoying work. It's complacency. It, you know, all the, all the bad things that we can allow, we got to shut them down. First, first thing we, we see them. So anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick. You know, this is, this is not going to be a long episode. I, I do want to say thank you to all those out there that have reached out to me. I've obviously had a, a frustrated tone here lately. I've been dealing with some things lately that, that have really been a struggle for me to deal with and have had several people reach out to me and, and I really appreciate that. I thank you very much for that. At the same time, on the other hand, you know, I know there are a lot of people out there that are dealing with their stuff too. You know, they're dealing with frustrations. They're they're in that winter period. They have the negativity that is, you know, everywhere at their crew, at their crew or level or their station, their firehouse, whatever. I know there's a lot of people out there that are that are in the midst of that right now still. And just like always, I'll just say, I, I will say, just hang in there. Keep pushing as hard as you can. Keep focusing on the positive. I know it's not easy. I know that there are going to be times when it's just not going to happen. 
I was there. I, I feel almost ashamed that I could not maintain a better atmosphere at my firehouse as the, as the leader of the crew, but I just couldn't, it, it, it was outside of anything that I could do without making some changes. And so sometimes you just can't do anything else, but the very least protect your passion, do the best you can work as hard as you can to at least protect yourself and your passion. Hopefully help one or two people if you can, whatever, but at the very least, keep doing what you need to do to protect yourself. And hopefully some, someday, very soon, things will change and, and things will get better. That spring will come. Things will start greening up. Attitudes will start getting more positive, whatever it is. And so, you know, I hope that everybody out there that is struggling right now Stay with it. Keep going. Keep pushing. Spring is coming. Winter can't last forever. And, and something else is, you know, I've, I've kind of lived my life vicariously through all these bears of the oath conference pictures I've, I've seen over the weekend. I know they had a great time there. Lots and lots of great, great people that I look up to were there. It would have been awesome to be there, but, you know, I know those people left that conference fired up because that's another great way to keep going is, is surround yourself by people that care, surround yourself with people that want to do better. that want to help you do better. We're out there. There's a lot of us out there. And I think more and more every day I see a, a stronger group uniting to just help each other keep going. And so, you know, if you haven't really reached out and, and met any people, anybody like that, there, there's lots of great people out here that, that are willing to, to just help you out, to just kind of offer some advice, to offer some positivity, offer some, you know, just whatever. You just got to reach out. So I hope that this short episode kind of makes you think about things. You know, we, we all go through seasons. You, you cannot avoid going through seasons of life, life at home, life at work, whatever. You, you cannot avoid it. What you can do is just do your best to stay in that sweet spot. Stay in the spring, stay in the summer, stay where things are going good and, and, and things are looking great and it's fun. That's where we need to stay. We've got to start focusing on staying there. We start feeling something slip. We start seeing things kind of taking a, a wrong turn. We've got to shut it down as soon as we can so that we don't end up back in the winter. So. That's really all my thoughts. You know, I, I wanted to keep it short because obviously nothing super groundbreaking. Just wanted to kind of share some of my excitement for you know a better future. Share some of my excitement for making it through a very hard time and and being just just so proud to be a part of a crew again. And I want to to share that because I know there are a lot of others out there that need to hear it that need to hear that it will get better. And so keep grinding, keep pushing, keep making the fire service better. And so that's all I got today. I look forward to having you back on tomorrow with our guest that I will have on Thursday. And so until then, everybody stay safe, take care of each other, stay humble and do work.